Joining me now are former contestant Ashleen Horgan Wallace and Dan Wooden, showbiz editor of the News of the World. Welcome, both of you. Hello. Thank I'm you. going to start off with you, Dan. It seemed like Big Brother was going to go on forever. Is this a sad day for TV or are some celebrating? I think it has reached its natural end. I think this year's series, the ratings basically fell off the cliff. And I just think there was a feeling that people didn't really care anymore about what was going on in the house. I think since the big race row that happened during Celebrity Big Brother with Jade Goody and Shul Pachetta, Chan Chan Shul Pachetta, sorry, Channel 4 has been sort of pushing this show to the background. It was quite embarrassing for them. It didn't fit what they politically wanted to do. They wanted to be seen as a public service channel, as an alternative to the BBC. And this show was all a bit of an embarrassment for them. And so I actually think Channel 4 have wanted to kill it off. They had to stick to their contract. They had a three-year contract to produce it. They do have to go ahead with next year's series. But I think they'll be quite glad to see the back of it, really. Ashleen, do you agree? Has it reached its natural end? Definitely not. It better not have, because I enjoy watching it. I enjoy writing about it. I think that perhaps it needs new producers, a new team, a new lease of life. Um, I think that they should follow suit from the American Big Brother, which is really, really successful and hasn't died a death. Maybe get some fresh ideas and maybe get some people in there that don't want fame. Get some people in there that really don't want to be in there. Somehow entice them, maybe say that they'll get money given to their favourite charity. Like stick ten bankers in there, that would be really funny because they'll go stir crazy, they'll go mad. But so Darren, it's not the ratings this year has been the lowest ever. What went wrong? Millions have turned away because I think the point Ashley makes right, you've got fame seekers who go into that show now. I mean, there is still the chance that Big Brother could survive. There is some talk in the industry today that perhaps Sky TV might look at picking it up, which would be a very interesting move for them. Endemol, the big international company that makes the show, have, have every right after 2011 to sell it to anyone else. So there is a chance it will survive, but I do think it will need to be shaken up. I think the fact that the live feed was cut as well, that's, that's made it lose a lot of viewers because newspapers aren't able to, able to follow the story. They only get an hour show every day. OK, well, how could Big Brother go out with a bang next year? What would keep you watching? Here's Craig Phillips' suggestions. You'll remember he was the first ever winner. It needs a fresh change, and I know they have got the licence to show it one more time next year. I think the only way they can probably restore the, the public back watching it and get the viewing figures back up again, if they possibly put all ten of the winners in, and then maybe some of the annoying losers in there, try and sort of re, uh, revamp it a little bit. Some interesting ideas. Um, Ashleen, Dan mentions fame seekers. Yeah. Do you think some of the contestants towards the latter series yeah. were a bit... Weird, not very normal. Yeah, but weird is boring after a while. You want to see normal go weird, not weird, just be weirder and play up to the cameras. But they're definitely fame seekers in there. And that's why I say get people in there that don't want to be famous. That but when you went into course. the series, did you think, did, were you going in there for fame? I don't really know what I went in there for. I suppose uh, a little bit of fame, yeah, but I had no expectations of that I'd be still working in the industry now. Dan, it's going to be a huge um, hole for Channel 4 mm. to fill up that schedule. You, you mentioned it could still survive, but on another channel. Mm, that's correct, but for Channel 4 now, they have to start planning big time because literally they now have hundreds and hundreds of hours of prime time programming that they're going to have to produce. I think they've announced today they've commissioned a whole lot of new dramas. So I think for them, it's basically going to be moving into quote unquote quality television and a move away from reality for Channel 4. But maybe another channel will, will pick it up. Well, Ashleen is the big champ. She'll be like hoping it continues <laughs> somehow. <Yes. laughs> Ashleen, Dan, thank you very much for okay. joining me. Thank you.